Yo, 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 family, the Art of D-Glass, and you know I'm back with another video. All right, up on the table, I have four of my airbrush guns that I bought and had over the several years that I had them. A jar of uh, Dollar, Dollar and Ronnie acrylic ink paint. And this concoction up in this bottle right here is basically alcohol, glass cleaner, and glycerin mixed together to create airbrush cleaner to clean the airbrushes when you put the paint in them and you use it on whatever your surface you're going to put them on and then boom and this stuff is really good and it cleans the airbrush guns almost completely so with that being said i'm just gonna browse quickly of what what airbrushes i have up on the table this is pretty much a airbrush gun that i bought off of amazon it's called the best um it serves a purpose. It's pretty cool. It's a gravity feed, meaning that you put the paint inside this cup here, connect it to your hose here, and then the rest is history once you pull this trigger. So, like I said, it does pretty good work and it's reasonable price. Uh, I think that was $14.99. Uh, this next gun here is a siphon, a siphon airbrush meaning that what you would do is you will fill up a jar with paint that has a little connector tube that goes into here and then what you would do is connect your hose to here and then use the trigger to push both air and paint out and you could do some fast work with this if you don't want to use the cup you can always you go with this one and use the jars which would be better so you don't have to keep constantly changing the paint you feel what i'm saying like this with this one you have to clean the cup after each color but still this could be easy if you know how to rationalize your own um, paint uh, my third one is a gravity feed by masters that I also got off of Amazon for $39.99 this one here from uh, Harbor Freight was $19.99 um, this does some pretty good work and also what you can do is you can take this part of the tip off even on this one as well and expose the needle and what that ha and what would that do is actually you can get like your line work a lot thinner and crisper and come and what I was trying to say thinner and crisper compared to you having the cap on and I mean you still get some nice lines but with the tip with the cap off you get some even better lines that's what I'm trying to say so yeah by masters like if you just want to get you a couple of airbrush guns this will be one to have this will be like your like your beginners but you will have like your your special beginners and then you will have your your elites so like this will be your beginner this will be like your intermediate this will be like your your i want to say novice and then this guy over here, which is uh, the Neo by Iwata, which you know Iwata make really good, good airbrush guns. So this is also a siphon feed. So I have gravity, siphon, gravity, and siphon. As I explained with this one, you just connect the jar here full of paint, connect your hose, and the rest is history. So yeah, this one I don't use as much because I like to preserve this one compared to the other two. I'll beat these up before I beat this one up because this one shoots really smooth. And then you have your paint. Like I had said early in the video, this is some really good acrylic ink. I have like several bottles of this and I use this stuff and it's really good and it's thin and smooth. So it feeds through both guns perfectly. And like I said, the solution so with that being said hopefully this is a, a tip that will work for anybody who wants to start airbrushing and with that being said i just need for y'all to hit that like button leave your comments down in the comment section hit that notification bell so you can get this content each and every time it's dropped and also subscribe to that page and also the channel the auto d glass and just like that folks i'm gonna go do what i do and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video peace